Hey guys, subscribe for daily content. And if you're shopping for gear, make sure you check out the description for the newest items at some of the very best online retailers. There's also links for some of the items that I personally recommend. Thanks. What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here and I am so excited to open this box. This uh, unboxing will actually um, wrap up a story that has confused a lot of people for a long time. And it's going to make a lot of sense once I open it and can explain it. But uh, yeah, very excited. This is a knife that I purchased for myself. Thanks so much to my generous patrons who are supporting me right now. There's a link, uh, a link for Patreon right down below. And please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. Oh, literally just arrived. I went upstairs to check on something and the FedEx person was right there in my driveway and I was just like, oh yes, I'm so happy. I'm trying not to, you know, <coughs> cut into anything ultra, ultra important. Let's make sure, oh, that's just info from FedEx. And we have, of course, the box here. There we go. And let's go ahead and get into the box. Let me turn it over. No, there's no information on that side, so there's regular. Just go ahead and cut this open like I do any other box. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Okay, so I don't need that. I do need this. Oh, good. They have taped it to the inside of the box. Listen, I get it, but I also find it totally unnecessary. <laughs> Just put more packing in there. Oh, my God. Bear with me. There's so much tape. Oh, my God. Just know, if you feel, if you're like, this is torture, watching somebody open something like this, and you're, you're not having as bad a time as me, because I'm, this is my knife that I'm trying to get out of here, and we have yet another layer of fortification to get through. Sweet. Okay. Well, I'll tell you where this came from in the meantime, so you'll know, you know, I'm, I'm trying to come down on them. They will make sure that the knife that you order from them arrives in perfect condition, and that's Recon 1. They take, obviously, many steps to ensure we have yet another layer of fortification to get through. Many steps to ensure that no part of this knife, the packaging, <laughs> actually gets damaged. You have to get so deep into it, you're more likely to damage this stuff with the tools. There we go. Ah, okay, we have a Shirogorov. Oh my gosh. What could be in here? I'm sure a lot of people know. They're going to go, oh, we're finally going to get to... Look at that. I got all the way through to it, and I screwed the box up. <laughs> um, yeah. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. What do we have here? That's... I don't need that. Uh, you guys already saw that. Ah, oh, yeah. <laughs> finally. I can finally... Put the F3NS back in my collection. So I saw this one, and it was bronze, and I was like, do I like that more, or do I want to wait for the standard one? Um, let's go ahead and flip it. Oh, God, that feels good. Yeah, oh, it's so, so good to have this back. I was waiting for a regular one with a regular stonewashed um, pocket clip and stonewashed um, backspacer, and I... I uh, daily refresh um, Recon 1, and this popped up along with a blue one, and I was like, you know what? I actually really like how the bronze looks, and it looks way better even in person. The um, bronze flake that's in the carbon plate here is actually really subtle, but I love how it looks. The contrast of the hardware color, the titanium liners, uh, and the bronze uh, with the pocket clip and the backspacer just looks wonderful. Now, let's go ahead and I want to feel for that edge. Oh, it's much better. So, I used to own a regular F3NS. And it was perfect other than one thing. And that one thing was that the apex of the edge, just it just wasn't sharp. And this is something that I'm sure is just something that happens, right? So, I sent it back to um, Recon 1 and they said... Do you want to wait or do you want like a you want like a credit? Because we're going to send this back to Shirogov for sharpening. It's going to take a while. I said, just give, give me a credit. And so what I actually did with that credit um, is uh, that partially went into my um, – oh, my God, that is smooth. That partially went towards my um, uh, Rockstead 
that I purchased a long time ago. Um, just to kind of, cause you know, I like got myself in the mood for a knife. <laughs> if you're not, if you're wondering, this is a $900 pocket knife. Oh my God. Yeah. Save it. I do. I do that pretty regularly. I'm not trying to flex. I'm just saying like that I've been in this knife hold long enough where I sell things so that I can acquire things that I want to keep in my collection. Right. Not rich. I'm not trying to flex on anybody, but this is, I'm, I'm actively involved as a knife enthusiast. And so I, I do purchase stuff like this periodically. Um, but uh, I just had got, I got myself all worked up to acquire a new knife, and I was so excited about the F3. And then, you know, I find out, well, it's got to go back for sharpening, and they don't have another one. So I went ahead and bought the Rockstead. Um, but i got to tell you, you guys never got a review of this thing because I had to send it back, and I wasn't going to review it with that Apex. If you have... If you uh, have ever been on the fence about Shirogorov and you're not sure and you're hearing this story of my F3NS having a bad apex and you're wondering, is that a regular occurrence? I don't think I have ever heard of somebody receiving a Shirogorov with a less than perfect apex. I think this was a once in a blue moon thing and it did not deter me at all from wanting to buy a Shirogorov. I actually own a Quantum as well and it is razor sharp. This one, I can tell you the apex is exactly right. It is very, very sharp. My uh, camera's having trouble focusing on it, but it feels exact. Oh, it has that nice glassy smooth, same glassy smoothness that my Quantum has. Now, you will get a review on this knife, but I can tell you right now, the Shirogorov F3NS is, um, and this is, a lot of people are gonna be shocked by this statement. This is one of the best pocket knives in existence. Yeah, it's expensive. That makes people mad, right? But the design function, right? Uh, and it's not like people say, well, 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 what's the blade steel? It's M390, and then it's titanium and carbon fiber. I can get that for 200 then go buy that. It, it's not an F3NS, though. This is a totally different ballpark. If we're going way beyond just the materials, when I, when I, when I make a statement like that, say this is one of the best pocket knives out there, uh, I'm going way past just the materials when I say that. So, um, but yeah, I'm just, I'm going to tell you guys, the review is going to be extremely positive. This is one of the greatest pocket knives that has ever existed. Let me just, I'm experiencing this for the first time and I am itching to get off the camera here and just go sit and flip this. <laughs> Multi-row bearings. Oh God, Shirogoroff and their smoothness. It's just ridiculous. I, uh, you guys have heard me say for a long time that I am a much bigger fan now of titanium liner locks than I am titanium frame locks, and that's because it's not exposed over here. I don't have to worry about where I'm putting my fingers on the side when I flip it, but the nice thing about the F3NS is that it is a very thick titanium liner lock, so you still get that you know, very robust feeling, right? You get that in the handle uh, and you get that in the blade because the blade stock thickness is fairly thick. The handle scales and liners are thick but done really well and they're contoured. So you get that big capable knife feeling but because it is, um, I believe, milled out titanium liners. I think we can probably see in there. Yeah, very milled out titanium liners and carbon fiber. This is carbon plate, so the premium stuff. This is a nice lightweight knife for being about 8.75 inches. Let's go ahead and measure it here real quick. I'm so happy with this. Oh my gosh. Yeah, 8.75 inches with a four, nearly a four inch blade. It's like 3.9 inches. Incredible ratios. Um, <coughs> yeah, I'll go ahead and weigh it. But just again, just keep in mind, this is not the review. It's just the unboxing. I'll get the review done. We'll get a full comprehensive review. What's this weigh? 4.83 ounces, not perfect ratios, but my goodness, pretty darn good for a nearly nine inch knife and a four inch blade. Um, yeah, this is spectacular. And I think had I handled the one with the bronze first, I probably would have ended up with this one over the plain one. They have uh, bronze and this is the same thing they don't do this hard i think they should have they should have done the liners and the, but that's okay they didn't um they have bronze and that's just the clip and the backspacer and the the freckles on the t on the uh, carbon plate then they do blue which if i'm not mistaken dr frunky has that one so you can check that out on his instagram or channel uh then they do um purple uh which uh that actually that one's owned by um 
Epic Snuggle Bunny. So you can check that out on his Instagram or his channel. Then they have the plain one, which is, if you want to see that one, it's uh, Levon from the Knife Nuts podcast. It's got that one. So I've got the bronze one here. And then do they do another one? I don't think so. They should do green. Ooh, a green one would be sick. Anyways, this was a long unboxing. I'm just absolutely melting over this thing. Uh, very excited to have this back in my collection. And this is a permanent part of my collection. I will never, ever let this thing go. Wonderful, wonderful knife. Um, but yeah, I expect to see a full comprehensive re review um, down the road. Because this is still a, believe it or not, this is a production knife. <laughs> Anyways, um, thanks for sharing this with me. Really exciting acquisition. Please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. You will definitely be seeing this knife on Instagram. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives. Uh, <laughs> lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like, so check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that Metal Complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.